Hello YouTube, welcome to the wonderful world of Terraria. My name is Sam and today we're gonna play a brand new character on a brand new world. I haven't really played since 1.6, this should be fun. So if you didn't see my bonus episode, I created a new character and a new world. I didn't play it yet, but I also changed my mind. I was gonna make a small world, but I'm gonna do large. Instead, because why not? My last playthrough on YouTube was on a medium world. As I found out, I was gonna do small, but small is way too small. If I wanna get every item in the game, you can't do it all in one world unless this is a large world. And even then you might get unlucky with chests. I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna make a small world. To find out I'm missing some couple awesome treasures, have to go farming between different worlds and get them there. Just do a large world. It'll be more, more like Minecraft then. I can take my time, I can, you know, do whatever I need to do. I'm in no rush to speed run the game or anything. So let's check it out. As long as this doesn't take too long. And I'm really excited. Like I said, I have haven't played this game in so long and I was so addicted to this game for so long. I mean, I played it for so long even before I started my first YouTube series and that was two years ago. Oh, it's just so good. So I had to turn a few of the graphics settings down uh, to the recording to look good. I could turn some of the lighting options off or lower. Uh, but I do still have it at 720p. Changing the re resolutions pr is weird though. It doesn't work right away. You have to either exit the game to get to resize the window or change it to full screen and then back to windowed mode again. That probably doesn't affect most of you guys. Okay, finding tile frames. I think this is the last step. I was going to cut this out, but I kind of ended up rambling on as usual. Yeah, that's, I was right. That is the last step. All right. So first things first. We get going. Oh, I got to change the controls. These are weird. Hold on one second. Okay, that's better. Okay. Just had to rebind some of the keys. I like having this on Q, so I don't always have to mouse click. It's quieter that way. They don't have to hear that all the time. You know, I just hit Q instead of clicking like that. Anyway, we start with a copper short sword now. That's different than what I remember. Ooh, I got an enchantment. That looks like it's probably just a random bonus. Anyway, it's still morning. And I still know how to cut down trees. This is a good thing indeed. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this series yet. Mine, my Minecraft series is working out really well where I cut out... A lot of the sort of kind of repetitive tasks and things. Sometimes I go too far and I end up building whole buildings and cut that out. So it's kind of a seems like a bit of a catch twenty two where I don't know. It's it's good to cut out the boring stuff, but then sometimes I just go too far or have time to play and not time to record. I think for now at least I'm gonna cut out exactly zero of this game unless something really terrible happens, like unless I end up digging a tunnel straight down through dirt cut that out but yeah again as always let me know in the comments what you think if you have any ideas or suggestions when I first heard about the update I was like oh cool when that comes out I should play this game again but uh, I just couldn't help myself I wanted to come now one of the rumors is that they're gonna add a feature where you can walk up these one high blocks instead of having to jump over them you jump so high, but you can't walk up this. I don't know if that'll be an item or just a standard benefit. It'd be cool if it was an item. Anyway, let's get to crafting. Oh, it's uh, it's set so that it pauses when we do that. It's kind of cheaty, isn't it? Kind of cheap. I'm not used to that because uh, maybe I'll just turn that off. That'll add an extra bit of difficulty, won't it? So we can't actually pause. Give me a second. All right, we're off to a terrible start, as usual, as you've come to expect from me. Okay, so first I want a real sword. Looks like it does... Okay, it's wood instead of copper, but who cares? I need a bow, even though I can't use it yet. Because we'll get arrows eventually. All the basics of caving here. Alright. 
torches. Okay, let's go find a cave. Can I? Oh, I can't even pick that up again because I don't have a hammer, which I could have just made. But hey, I'll g oh look, surface iron. It's the best thing ever. Of course, copper is the lowest level ore, but if we can skip that and go straight to iron, it's freaking awesome. Okay, so we need a bit of uh, so we need to armor up first thing with copper and iron. I know I said I'm not gonna speed round, but I still want to get rich quick if I can. So I'm gonna level up my armor and, and get some hearts to take on that eye right away, because we do want to get to the end game in a reasonable amount of time. Good thing about this is not playing in hardcore for once, is I can always kill myself to get back to spawn. I mean, I'll lose my money, but that's okay at this point. Tempted to, to dig down to get grab that stone, but I think we'll find some eventually anyway. How about right here? Alright, nice big cave. That's the thing about the... I guess this is a tiny cave anyway. I was gonna say... That's the thing about small worlds, is that you might just get small caves, and that's no good for anyone. But I got one here too. Bit of clay, good to know where I can get some when I need it. And I saw something off to the left as well. I love playing this in the widescreen, big resolution here. You can kind of see stuff off in the distance. Look how massive this is. All right. You know, I just talked about not cutting stuff out, but let me just cut this out to mine out all this goodie, all these goodies. My goodness, that was a lot of mining. It took almost three, two or three minutes. <laughs> Glad I didn't, didn't make you sit through that. So we got our workbench and our furnace. Grabbed enough stone. Smelt up all our stuff. Is there not a shift clip, click to craft everything? Am I too used to Minecraft? That's, that's okay. Okay, an anvil we're going to need eventually for sure. Because we can't make anything without it. Still going to be nomadic for a while, although our eventual, ba eventual main base will be at spawn. Okay, slap an anvil down, see if we can craft anything before night comes. The bucket you can actually put on your head is, is not terrible armor, but I think more important than that... Oh, we cannot make the armor. We need at least 15 or 20 pieces for that. Not a problem. Short swords are useless, never get them, never make them, avoid it. Not enough for the iron pickaxe, sadly, so... Yeah, why not? Just get a sword. Get it, get it. I was gonna save up. Oh, we need a hammer too, don't we? Let's see if we can get a wooden hammer. If I had more wood, that would be fine. So we want, we want to pick up this stuff. Actually, no, yeah, we do. I mean, it's almost night. But even so, we might as well keep adventuring throughout the night. We'll need a hammer eventually. This does work, right? I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm having, having second guesses every now and then of like, should I trust myself? Do I know what I'm talking about? I don't, do we need mushrooms to eat? And... But yes, I do want to continue our adventuring throughout the night because I don't mind dying to go back to spawn. I'm not going to go for any sort of optimal, minimal death playthrough. Although, at this point, I may actually want to turn back because... Uh, let me get these pots. Just because I want to be extra risky. And uh, now I have no way up. Oh. I do love the corruption music, though. That's... Awesome. Oh, you're gonna die so fast. Two hits. Oh yeah, and you, there's crits in the game now? Oh, so much new. Not new for you, because this update came out two years ago and like... Or I guess a year ago now. If, if my series ended December 2011, that was barely a year ago. Yeah, I, I, th I, th I think I said a year ago in the last video and then I, then I looked and I was like, wait. Is that two years ago? No, because December 2012 just happened. So, uh, look at me. I'm terrible at everything, including dates and math. 
Yeah, so doing stuff like if I was gonna clear out this whole swath of trees, that's something I'll, I'll, I'll be cutting out, things like that. But I, I don't wanna ever play for hours on end away from camera, like I do in Minecraft. Like, Minecraft is one of those games where there's so much to do. But, for this, I wanna stay with you guys and make it more of a <laughs> journey together. Okay, so to the left is the corruption, and probably lots of cool stuff after that. So it's still the same as before, where we have, you know, jungle on one side, dungeon on the other. I don't know which one quite yet. Here's our spawn. Not bad. Could make a house already, if I was so inclined. Nope. Don't need any help right now. Oh. Well, I do want some torches. Oh, you can put them on trees, can't you? Yeah, you can. Oh, a whole treasure shelf over here I didn't even see. Oh, you can hold R, can't you, to switch your tool. Oh, that's a good feature. You hold R and you hover over something and it automatically switches for you and then goes back to where you were. So I can here, I can switch to the hammer. Although the sword also works. Okay, I know I passed by that cave. Oh yeah, didn't they... Oh yeah, I need a loom to make a bed too in this update. I have done my research. I have looked things up. So, so there's things like a sawmill and a loom to create certain things from cobweb and from wood. Not everything is from the crafting bench anymore. I like that actually a lot. Not because of the realism, realism aspect, although that is part of it. It's nice to have, you know, kind of tiered crafting system. You don't just get access to everything when you get the material. Uh, have you guys read the Legend of Max comic? It's so good. Every time I hear that zombie's sound now, I'm gonna think of that comic. It's great. I should link that in the in, in the description of this video. Okay, just had to pause for a quick second for the phone. We're good to go. Yeah, I was talking about Legend of Max comic. It's so good. Reminds me of another comic that was started, but discontinued right away for Terraria. It was really good. It was actually made into an animated series. I'll see if I can remember the names and links for that in the, in the bar below as well. If not, feel free to remind me. Okay. I remember these zombies being harder. I don't know if it's just the Iron Sword or me being not terrible at the game. I guess there's not too many of them yet either. Okay, I should probably light this out because it's, it's always darker on a camera than it is for me. No, no matter how much I brighten it up. I want to make sure you guys can see everything. So this is just the way it's going to be. Just hunting for resources. In the lay of the land. Make sure I know where all the caves are. Yeah, we're going to need lots of that silk. Ooh, don't put a torch on the copper. We need that. Okay, another dead end cave. Not a problem. Kill as many of these eyes as we can. Get those lenses to summon the first boss. He's kind of a joke, but we do want iron armor when we fight him. I think we can make that jump. But we only have seven mushrooms, so we do want to be careful here. Okay, back off. Maybe I'll be able to hit him faster down from below. Yeah, that's much better. Don't fight zombies from above. We want the low ground. There's a lens. Oh, yeah. See if I make it, I can make it from... No, nope. Where's all my dirt blocks? They should be on my bar. Get on the bar. I wish this had 20 slots sometimes. It'd be sweet to be able to scroll through, scroll all the way down to 20. Uh, T is my quick heal. Yes, it is. I have it set on T. I don't know if that's the default, but that's what I like. Nice good distance from the WE setup. I was gonna get out of here right away. 
Man, it's a good thing I'm not on hardcore, because I am terrible at this game now. I think I used to be good, but I'm not. How much did I lose? Eight silver. You don't lose it all, do you? Or, or do you? No, you lose half of it. Okay, so then make you wait a second, and then you see, oh, yep. I also want to have it, half of it. I have arrows. I should be using those. I should be torching this place up, too. Okay, should we go back for that money? I don't know. There's not too much else we can do, can we? Oh, we can smell some copper. Actually, no, yeah. I, I want to be spending lots of time outside at night. Did I walk right over that? Damn. Well, the money doesn't despawn over time, or does it? I seem to remember that things don't despawn over time like they do in Minecraft, but I could be wrong, as usual. I could always be wrong. Can't. I'll fact check for the next episode, but for now, let's, let's see if we can get there. I forgot to set a timer for this video, so it might be a little long, or a little short, depending on how long we go. Okay, we want a nice little stairway going up here. Uh, actually, that's pretty terrible, but that's okay. Let me just dig one out. The stars do die in the morning, but that's just because they're a special thing that dies in the sunlight. That's just not just a normal item. I'm talking about how in Minecraft, if something sits on the ground for a while, it just despawns. Um, this is not Minecraft. Playing Minecraft after playing this was a little bit to get used to. It's such a different game. What am I trying to do here? Get up there. Spending half the night getting it one star, but these things are so valuable. We need ten of those for one mana. Oh yeah, we want lots of mana. Light this up here, here too. We don't want to miss anything. I'm not too worried about one wood and stone. That's. I think one thing I'll do after this episode is just chop down a bunch of these trees, so I have just stacks on stacks of wood. There we go. Now, if we get it out of here quick before these guys pile up, then we shouldn't have our problem. What I can actually do is block that totally off. Leave the gravestone there in memoriam. It'll say, you know, I was slain by zombie or whatever. Yeah, as soon as you stop, they all catch up with you. Because whenever it looks like, hey, it's night, there's no monsters out. Aren't I lucky? No, there's, there's lots out. They're just off to the screen. Or if they're not off the screen, they're about to spawn there. So... Be careful where you stop for the night. As soon as you stop, they'll be right there behind you. What it's gonna do is try to build us up. No, that's not gonna happen. Oh, I was hoping that would hit a zombie. Would, that would be so awesome. They do deal damage when they land. Okay, let's run. Because they're coming faster than I can kill them. Even with the iron sword. So that's the thing. I was gonna build up and go to the further to the right. I'll have to wait until day to do that. What I can do is dive into the cave. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Okay, I was getting preparing for a much longer drop. Worth it. Dig up some clay. Why not? See if this actually goes further. I have such good plan for this series. Looks like where did it end, but I want to, like I said, I want to do kind of a long series with this, where I I don't just get to the end to beat the bosses. I want to build some cool stuff. I want to kind of learn new things. I want to invent things. I want to use some inventions that have already been made, like obsidian generators. And uh, this jumping up on blocks thing doesn't work when you go deeper down. It only works up when you have a dirt wall behind you like this. So it doesn't work out here. 
that's one thing about Minecraft that makes the game a bit too easy, I think, is that you can just jump stack below you. I mean, it'd be impossible to remove that from the game just because it's so kind of integral to the base mechanics, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Okay, well, it's our first day and our first night done, plus all the time I wasted at the beginning talk, watching loading screens. Ooh, bit of copper down there. Looks like we got a, quite a bit accomplished here today. Actually, we got... Oh, no, we got a good amount of items. 20 going into bars, so probably not even enough for a piece of copper armor quite yet. And we don't really have to worry about chests right now, because we keep everything when we die. So actually, I'll just put my I'll keep my crafting stuff on me, which I learned from heart being hardcore mode. It's useful to have that stuff on you when you want to when you pick up some iron and you want to make it to armor right away. Okay, I think this is good. So I think I'm going to end the first video here. It looks like it's about 20 minutes. Again, if I get for to set the timer. So I think I'll do that next episode. So let me know what you want to see me do. Where I should go first. What I should build. And I, I'm like, for example, I keep calling the I've Cthulhu the first boss. But you don't have to do it first. You could easily do Eater of Souls first and kill the eye later. So again, no limits. So... You know, like I said, feel free to suggest what you think I should do. Any ideas you have, hit the like button if you like this video, dislike if you don't. And I will sign out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, as I, and as I said, off screen, I'll cut down most of these trees. But I won't do anything else. I promise I won't get too far ahead. I'll cut down the trees. The next episode will either build a house or go caving. Build, go caving. So you decide. Thanks for watching. See ya!